Hi. Hello, kusta na? Okay lang, pero grabe, long time no see. Kaya nga eh, ang dami kasi sobrang peta. Buti nga nagka-time tayo para, you know, mag-video call. Ala, sinabi mo pa. Saan na pala si Keisha? Di ko nga alam eh. Hindi ba siya yung nagtawag ng meeting na to? Oo oh, nga eh. I think may sasabihin daw siya. Hmm, ano kaya yun, no? Oo nga eh. Actually, napansin ko nga parang may something kay Keisha. Like, sa tingin mo ba may problem kaya siya? Hmm, o nga, baka kaya siya nagtawag ng meeting so she can share what's going on sa life niya. Ay, hala guys, sorry, nalate ako. Keisha, napansin ko lang na parang madalas ka na nalate sa even to other meetings. How are you? Okay ka lang ba? Hoy, grabe, wag mo naman akong i-judge. Diba sabi sa Bible na do not judge or you will be judged? But in, hindi naman sa ganon. Ay nako, here we go again. Hindi ganyan. Teka, parang alam ko na tong boses na to. Oo nga eh. Uy guys, sorry na late ako pero wag niyo naman akong takutin ng ganito. Um, hello? Pwede magsalita ka uli. Hey! <laughs> I know whose voice this is. Hey guys, ito ba yung nakwento niya dati sa akin? Nakakatakot nga. Miss Coated, ikaw ba yan? Magpakita ka nga para di na matakot si Keisha. Hi! Oh, hi Miss Coated. I've heard so much about you. Good things, I hope. But I'm not here to receive compliments. I'm actually here to help you understand Matthew 7.1. Or, yung sinabi mo kanina na do not judge or you will be judged. Ay, mali ba? Okay, okay. Sorry. No problem. Hi, I'm Miss Coded and I'm back. And you know what that means? Yes, someone misinterpreted another Bible verse. Remember, guys, context, context, context. Remember that originally, the Bible didn't have chapters or verses at all. So, it's so important to know the whole context of the passage before using it. But, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's play the theme song. Do not judge or you too will be judged, has been used countless times by many to defend themselves when they are confronted about their behavior. These words recited by Jesus during the Sermon on the Mount have been misused and even abused by both Christians and non-Christians alike. Those who misuse this verse often use it as an excuse to sin, allowing them to justify a living as they please without any regard for morality or even accountability. In a way, they're saying, who gives you the right to judge me? Aren't we all sinners? Isn't God supposed to be the only one who can judge us? But did Jesus say that we couldn't judge others as we would also be judged? Again, let's read the entire passage. Do not judge or you too will be judged. For in the same way you judge others, you will be judged. And with the measure you use, it will be measured to you. Why do you look at speck of sawdust in your brother's eye and pay no attention to the plank in your own eye? How can you say to your brother, let me take the speck out of your eye when all the time there is a plank in your own eye? You hypocrite. First, take the plank out of your own eye and then you will see clearly to remove the speck from your brother's eye. When Jesus said those words, he didn't forbid us to judge others. He simply said that before we judge others, we must first judge ourselves. You see, the Pharisees were judging and condemning people to make themselves look good. But Jesus reminds them that they should first examine themselves before judging others. But judging others here doesn't mean 
that if they were okay in this aspect, they could go on and condemn others. No, the point of judging others is to actually help them. Jesus said that first, you must take the plank out of your eyes before being able to see clearly to remove the speck of one's eyes. If we examine and judge ourselves first, then we will be able to help others who also struggle with the same things we did. So guys, balikan natin yung kanina. Ayan had good intentions. Sinabi niya yun kay Kisha, hindi para mas maging mataas than her, which was a problem of the Pharisees in Jesus' time. The Pharisees corrected other people's mistakes to make themselves seem more righteous than others rather than helping them. Sabi pa nga, the Pharisees wouldn't even lift a finger for them. Kaya, tayo rin guys. Before we call out someone else's weakness or mistake, we have to evaluate ourselves kung bakit natin i-call out. Are we like the Pharisees na nagpo-point out the mistake for them to seem more righteous than others? Or katulad ni Aya na nag-point out kasi sincerely gusto niya lang tulungan yung friend niya? Ah, sorry sobra Ayan. Kala ko kasi sinasabi mo lang yun para pahiyain ako eh. Yun pala, nag-aalala ka talaga for me. Isha, I'm just concerned about you. Marami rin kasing nakakapansin and wala man lang nag-approach sa'yo about it. I want to be that friend lang na who loves you enough to correct you even if ako rin naman nagkakamali. Yes. And I didn't really judge you. She was really concerned. Ganun. Oh nga, Keisha. We're just concerned about you. Ay, oh nga pala. Thank you again, Miss Cotel. Thank you. Thank you. No problem. But please, remember to read the whole context before using the verse. Okay? Bye. Gotta go. Bye. Thank you. Thank Bye-bye. You Okay siya. Ano bang meron? Ba't ba ba kami tinawag? Oo nga. Ano kasi guys? May problem ako. Hala. Ano? Love life ba? Kaninong problem naman? Kay Maniligaw A or kay Maniligaw B? Hey. Hey. If I were you, pipiliin ko si Maniligaw B. Kasi ang cute niya. Wait. Sino ulit si B? Si ano ba? Guys, hindi love life problem ko. Um, actually, guys, basta kung ano naman problem mo, we're here for you. Eh, sorry. Go ahead, Kisha. Go ahead. O nga, ayan. Shh. Ewan ko ba? Parang lately ang down ko dahil sa mga problems ko. Tapos, dagdag pa tong pandemic na to. Parang walang katapusan, you know? Yeah, gets, gets. Uy, Kisha, problem lang yan. Bakit ka masyado na down? Di ba dapat joyful tayo, mga Christians? Di ba sabi ni God to consider it pure joy whenever you face trials? Seriously? Huh? huh? Miss Coded? Yeah. 